Hello guys, uh, this video is particularly uh, is something which is of a great joy to me because uh, today I'm going to get my Yamaha Genos which I've been waiting for about 8 to 10 months, almost a year. So I got a call from the Thompson Music House uh, in Nernaculum so that my keyboard is ready. So I'm going to pick, so it's a um, four to six hours journey from here. I'm going to get that keyboard and we'll be coming back late night. And definitely as soon as I reach home, I'll be doing uh, the continuation of this video. So um, yeah, let's go and see that because I don't know how that looks like and uh, what all things are waiting for me. So I'm so excited to show you the unboxing and uh, probably if possible, I'll show you the review of the keyboard. Uh, when I'm back so that is the news for now so let's go Okay, and I'm back home with my Genos. Um, let me introduce a few things at the beginning. Uh, this is a keyboard which is having like the Tyros and the Genos are like uh, coming up with the speakers and they are just like this. And so uh, you can just uh, connect this way and uh, they have a holding thing. It's very easy. Uh, you have a pin like this, which is built in. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can get this with the keyboard itself. And uh, in fact, these are additional accessories to the keyboard. Uh, on, you need to buy only if you need them. So I needed them. So I just bought this because the sound that is coming through these speakers are amazing, amazing. I just tried it there in the showroom. And now like uh, when I hear it home, like in this close surrounding, it's so superb. So now uh, these are actually the pins for uh, the notation stand. I just removed that because I can't speak to you. And also I don't need it because um, this is more or less like an inspirational playing on the keyboard, not just looking like the notations or something. So uh, as, of, as for now, I don't need it. So just I kept this one. Uh, the notation stand is something I removed. Uh, but uh, these are something, these kind of clutches thing is super because they don't, they don't come out uh, they don't come out even if you are shaking, you are, you are, you are on a fire performance. And so it doesn't move because they have a lock here and uh, that is for the speakers. And this thing is actually uh, movable. So that is, uh, that's amazing. And these are connected, speakers are connected. There's a separate slot for this one. This is not an additional thing outside the um, keyboard, but this is a part of the keyboard. And so definitely I would recommend to buy this one because uh, if you don't have this thing, then uh, you won't get the proper feeling of what the keyboard actually produces. Now this, uh, this is a cable which goes to the uh, speakers, to the keyboard. And uh, this is, it has a subwoofer. So this is a 2.1 speaker. So this has a subwoofer uh, where I'm sitting. I think I can't show you that. Uh, so, uh, so that's a uh, subwoofer. And um, the, the, the things at the front are basically the power cord and uh, you can take a microphone in because uh, the keyboard is loaded with vocal harmony, a vocoder and everything. So you can have the vocal harmony and things like that. So definitely you can have an XLR input uh, and um, so it has a phantom power in uh, capability and uh, you can have the aux in. So there's an L and an R uh, left and right uh, or you can have it as a solo you can have two instruments sticking in or two different things that you can plug it in and um, the line out the main l and r left and right then you have two other ones and uh, you have the three and four as the oh, what do you call um, the aux and uh, those are the things i'm just looking i'm just reading it from the manual book so i'm just i don't want to look come here and, and say all those things. So those are the things and, and foot pedal. That's, that's an interesting part because this keyboard is, 
having a special feature on the articulation i'll show you um, from this side and um, they are more concerned about the the live and the natural feel of the keyboard that is the reason why i uh, wanted this keyboard badly because like this is the only keyboard in the world that you can have that much uh, uh, expression that kind of feeling that reality of your playing that this is the extreme keyboard which is available at the moment and um, so it has a sustain it has the articulation it has a volume pedal button uh, 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 slot so um, and it has a video out uh, usb host and uh, to a device there's one inside one here too there are two uh, flash drive slots and uh, you have the midi in and out there are two a and b uh, are there so you can have two of them uh, at the same time and uh, as i said the subwoofer and the speaker so this is the uh, look from the front and um, and you need to hear the sound that is the most most important thing uh, when you listen to a genos because the sounding is awesome you can create a hollywood movie with this thing for sure because this is the uh, this is the ultimate keyboard available in the market at the moment and uh, and the, and you will you will find it how what is the reason of this this price tag and uh, and, and and the level at which it is set awesome amazing i think uh, my my weight um paid for a price and uh, it, it it did uh, it, it is worth so uh i'm just going to show you from my front side so i think um uh, this is it and um, i'll show you from this side i don't know where i should start from because like there are a lot of things that is new and that is not available in much of the keyboards and that is only uniquely available in genos and i'll show you with an example of a one uh, single voice um this is a cello tone uh, so this is a classical cello uh, with seattle cellos combined together in part one part two or right one and right hand too so those two parts are together so this sounds like this so i'm going to try with uh, a rhythm 